Hello everyone. Welcome to Inspire Short Lecture Series in Science. In this we have the physics 9th grade mechanics. We are going to look at loss of motion. So, loss of motion and basic we are going to say one object. Let's call the object O. O is the move. Okay. This is done in a time t. So, from A to B, this movement can either start from rest or can start from a pre-existing velocity. Okay? Either way, let's call the velocity at A u. And then it reaches B, the velocity at B, let's call it V. Okay? The difference in velocity is u minus v. Okay, this is final velocity minus initial velocity. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So a equals v minus u by t. Okay. Let's call this distance or displacement s, capital S. So we have four quantities here s for displacement. We have u for initial velocity, v for final velocity, and then we have a for acceleration. Right now, the laws of motion it's going to derive the relationship between these four quantities that is, given some of the quantities. We can basically find out the others. Oh, we forgot time. T is the time taken for the movement. Okay. Let's start with the first one, which is V equals U plus A T. Okay. We will start from this relationship here. We saw that A is acceleration, which is rate of change of velocity okay anything that says rate of change means we divided by time okay so the time here is t keep it aside for the time being what is a change in velocity change in velocity is always final minus initial that is v minus u so, substituting all of this, acceleration equals V minus U by T. Rearrange this thing. Rearrange it and we will end up with A into T equals V minus U. Okay. Or in other ways, A T equals V minus U. Now we can move the u from here to here. So v equals u plus a t. This is the first law of motion. What does it tell us? Given the initial velocity, given an acceleration a and the time t, I can find out what is my final velocity. Okay, This is equation b. Now let's try it for one standard case where the initial velocity is zero. So if the body starts from rest and then reaches a velocity, final velocity of v at time t under constant acceleration a, then v should be equals a into t. We saw that v equals u plus a t. Here u is zero. So we get v equals zero plus a t equals a into t. We have our equation right. Hmm? This is number one. Let's come back for the next class for equation number two and three. Thank you. Bye.